Thanks for joining. In this video, we will continue to look at common questions to pass any algebra or math test. Please watch all the videos in this series to aid you pass any math test with ease. You can check out ultimatealgebra.com or ultimateged.com for more. Let's dive right in. Question 6. Given the function f of x equals 2x squared plus 3, find f of negative 2. To find f of negative 2, we need to substitute negative 2 for x in the function. Wherever you see x, just replace it with negative 2. So we have f of negative 2 equals 2 times negative 2 squared plus 3. Please be very careful when substituting a negative number. I always put it in parenthesis. This is to make sure the negative is also squared. Now we will use the order of operation to get the answer. If you're not familiar with the order of operations, please check the links below this video and watch it. From the order of operations, we will have to do the negative two squared first. Negative two squared is four. So we have f of negative two equals two times four plus three. Next, from the order of operations, we will do the multiplication by two. Two times four is eight. So we have f of negative two equals eight plus three. Then finally, we will add eight to three. This will give 11 as our answer. Let's look at a common twist to this type of function question. Question 6b. Given the function f of x equals 2x squared plus 3, find x when f of x is 11. This is basically the same question. Here, you are rather given the f of x value. A lot of students assume this is the x value. So here, we will replace the f of x with 11. We have 11 equals 2x squared plus 3. Now we will solve for x. Please, if you're not familiar with solving equations, check the links in the description and watch the video. It's extremely important you master how to solve equations. We want to get the x by itself. We will first subtract 3 from both sides. The 3 will cancel out. 11 minus 3 is 8. So we have 8 equals 2x squared. Next, we will divide both sides by 2. The 2 will cancel out. 8 divided by 2 is 4. We have 4 equals x squared. Finally, to get the x by itself, we will find the square root of both sides. The squared root will cancel the squared. Square root of 4 is 2. In a lower level math class, you can say that x equals 2 and you are done. In actual sense, squared root of 4 can be negative 2 or 2. This is because negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Also, 2 times 2 is 4. So, x equals 2 or x equals negative 2. So, in a test, you are looking for 2 or negative 2 in your answer choices. Please don't stress too much on the negative 2 or 2 answer we just did. You can watch our video on quadratic equations for a better understanding. Question 7. A car rental company charges $25 per day plus 20 cents per mile driven. If a customer rents a car for 5 days and drives 500 miles, how much will they be charged? In order to pass any standard math test, you have to embrace word problems. The best way to master word problems is by solving a lot of them. We are here to help you master this. Just keep watching our videos. Okay, let's solve the question. There are two charges here, the charge for the number of days and the charge for the mileage. So the total cost of renting the car is the sum of the daily charges and the mileage charge. The daily charge is $25 per day and the customer rented the car for five days. So the total daily charge is $25 times five days. This will give us $125. The mileage charge is 20 cents per mile driven and the customer drove 500 miles. 20 cents is the same as $0.20. So the mileage charge equals $0.20 times 500 miles. This will be $100. We know the total cost is the sum of the daily charge and the mileage charge. So we have $125 plus $100. 
We add this to get $225 as our answer. Therefore, the customer will be charged $225 for renting the car for five days and driving 500 miles. Question 8. Find the slope of a line that passes through the point 25 and the point 69. To find the slope of a line given two points, we will use the slope formula. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Formulas are given on most tests, so don't worry too much about it. Please note that you can call any of the point 1 or 2. I'm choosing this as 1 and this as 2. When you have a point, the first value is your x and the second value is your y. Since we are calling this point 1, we will have x1, y1 here. Same thing for this. Since we are calling this our point 2, we can call this x2, y2. We just put the values into the formula. We have 9, which is y2, minus 5, which is y1, divided by 6, which is x2, minus 2, which is x1. We simplify. 9 minus 5 is 4, over 6 minus 2, which is also 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So the slope is 1. Question 9. A company charges a flat rate for installation of a product, plus $3 per month for a maintenance plan. If the total cost after 8 months is $74, what was the cost of installation? We really want you to become used to word problems. The more you practice, the better you become. The company charges a flat rate for installation and $3 monthly fee for maintenance. The total cost after 8 months will be the cost of installation plus the cost of maintenance plan for 8 months. The total cost has been given as $74. We don't know the initial installation cost. Let's represent it with X. The maintenance plan for 8 months will be the cost per month, which is 3 months, times the number of months, which is 8 months. We multiply this to get 24. Now we have 74 equals x plus 24. We solve for x, one step equation. Subtract 24 from both sides. The 24 will cancel out. 74 minus 24 is 50. So the cost for installation is $50. Question 10. Find the area of the triangle below. Please. You have to be very familiar with finding the area and perimeter of plane figures. In most tests, the formula will be given to you. Your work is to apply it correctly. Area of a triangle is half times the base times the perpendicular height. Or we can also say, it's the base times perpendicular height divided by two. Here, the base is five meters. The height is 12 meters. The area is five times 12 divided by two. 5 times 12 is 60. Divided by 2 is 30. So the area of the triangle is 30 meters squared. We will end this video here. Please like and subscribe and most importantly, watch all videos in this series to build a strong foundation and pass any math test. You can also check out our full course. See you in the next video.